Anthony Gorin. And I'm Brian Collar, and the owner of the Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots, charged with soliciting prostitution at a Florida massage parlor. And it has fans across the region with a lot to say about it. NBC 5's Tom Garris is in the newsroom with the buzz it's creating both off and online. Tom. Yeah, well, Stephanie, Brian, hashtag Robert Kraft still trending in major cities in our region, New Haven, Connecticut, uh, Boston, obviously, as well. And just a quick peek at Twitter, you can see thousands of posts, some people saying that they're disappointed, others mocking the Patriots owner, and this story creating quite the buzz in our region. It's despicable. There's a lot of pressure for him to sell the team. I, I think he yeah. needs to step down. Patriots owner Robert Kraft in hot water, accused of soliciting prostitution at a Florida massage parlor. He's one of more than 100 men implicated in an investigation that spanned months. The women involved are victims of human trafficking. Cops in Jupiter, Florida say they have the billionaire businessman on camera. It shows the act that took place. On, e on every gentleman that you have a list of, the act that took place is recorded on that video. Police say he was driven to the parlor. They say they're working on warrant for his arrest. They're stunned like everyone else. Local sports talk station 101.3 The Game dedicating the bulk of its afternoon show to the Kraft allegations. They say his big name could be what's pushing the story. These stories are going on and, you know, they need to be stopped. So if a celebrity's downfall is what brings them to the forefront, then so be it. Their listeners fired up about the allegations, with some internet trolls taking shots at the Patriots' reputation and allegations of cheating. Other callers focusing on the bigger picture. As a female fan of football, like, it just, like, I'm sick of how, like, the NFL or, like, whatever are treating these things that are happening to women, regardless if it's players or owners or whatever. And a spokesperson for Kraft released a statement saying, quote, we categorically deny that Mr. Kraft engaged in any illegal activity because it is a judicial matter. We will not be commenting further. And uh, Brian Stephanie, the host from 101.3, saying that he's still got a lot of questions about this whole thing. What uh, Robert Kraft knew about the human trafficking element of this. And uh, so this likely not the last that we're going to hear of this story. Live in the newsroom, Tom Garris, NBC5 News.